What's up guys, so welcome back to the Barcelona career mode. We're currently in episode 8 right now. Um, I know this is an unusual starting for me, but basically I was having a few uh, capture card issues at the start. Uh, but luckily enough, it's only in the first game. I've resolved them now, hopefully I've resolved them anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're at home at the Camp Nou against uh, Cordoba FC, if that's how you pronounce it. If not, apologies there. Uh, but yeah, th here is our lineup. I figured that I'd show it to you guys this way, just so I can briefly chat over it. Um, so, let's start off with, in goal, we've got to Stegen. Uh, I think that he will eventually aspire to be our first choice keeper. He's only like one or two overall uh, on the overall behind at Bravo at the moment. I do prefer to Stegen in real life and um, in FIFA as well. I've gone with Montoya because obviously we're going to be getting rid of Dani Alves and signing uh, a right back who um, you got, well you guys will see soon enough. Anyway uh, I've gone with Matthew and PK for uh, inform reasons both of them uh, are in form at the moment um, Hordy Alba as well, just a safer option to be honest, that left back at the moment. Then I've gone for Rakitic and Rafinha in midfield, Rakitic is in there uh, because Iniesta was a little bit tired and uh, Busquets was also out of form so I thought I'd give somebody else a chance and uh, I decided to put Rafinha in just to give him some more experience and hopefully he can aspire to be a great player as well um, and yeah then on the right of course we've got Neymar there's uh, you know no really no question in that one really it's almost like a certainty to play Neymar um, then of course next to Neymar in the middle there just playing behind the striker we have got Lionel Messi the main man the face of Barcelona owner wearing the captain captain's armband and uh, yeah this, you can't really it's difficult to sit messy out um then on the left we have got pedro a player who i have been really impressed with in this series he's uh he's not really rated much in real life um but i i personally really like pedro i like him in real life again and i like him in the game um he's really impressed me in the game so yeah um i'm looking forward to some like happy times with Pedro and uh, of course we can help um, get that overall up a little bit more hopefully um, as well and then obviously up front we have got Luis Suarez um, yeah he's missed a, a bit of the season Soldado has, has probably been my better striker I know I know that's a mad statement but still it's very true Suarez has um, you know recently come back and um yeah we i'm looking forward to uh playing more games with suarez we're in the 21st of december almost in january where of course i'll be making major movements in the transfer window and bringing in some more players so no cutscenes this time, jumping straight into the game. Of course, if you want to look at um, Cordoba's lineup, both lineups are now rolling across the bottom of the screen there, so uh, you can catch those there if you, if you uh, did miss the other ones. I didn't go through the bench because I've just pretty much put on anybody who's fully fit. Um, that's how I like to play FIFA. In career mode in particular, I just choose um, players who are of course fully fit and and that's how um it's just reduces chance of injury as well so yeah let's crack on with this now good start so far can we oh i thought we could perhaps get an early goal there but just uh nabbed from suarez at the last minute there Oh, that's risky. Oh, that's risky. Come on, Rakitic. Yes, Rakitic. Good nan. Good nan. Good nan. <laughs> oh, my days. Good man. Sorry. Sorry, Rakitic. Good nan. <laughs> Come on, Suarez. Go on, Suarez. Bang that. It's in there. Luis Suarez, back of the net. Yes, that is exactly what we wanted. It's been coming a long time, to be fair. We've absolutely hammered these guys. We've had so many shots and it's just been save after save. And then finally, Suarez breaks that deadlock. We go 1-0 up. It is 50 a minutes in. We we That's a great FC. goal. That is it. That's a lovely finish. Is that like an outside the foot? That's an outside the foot shot, isn't it? Yeah. No, is it? I can't tell. It's a great finish anyway. Fantastic finish. Is 
livened the bloody stadium up a bit. Yes. Come on, Messi, this is you now. This is you now, Lionel. Play the sweat. Suarez in the middle. And he taps it home. Get in there. Yes. Two goals. A quick fire, one after the other, from Luis Suarez. I have to say, Messi was the main man there. Doesn't he know it? <laughs> but Suarez gets the goal anyway, despite Messi's hard work there. Pop a cheeky long distance with Neymar. Holy shit, that has just gone in. Oh my god, no way. No, 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 no. I no, 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 no. No. What a goal. I was literally not expecting that to go in. I just said, let's pop a cheeky long distance shot with Neymar. And bang. Oh my god. Wow. That is that is possibly the best goal I have ever scored in FIFA. In FIFA. In all FIFAs. That is that is it. That is the best goal I have ever scored in my FIFA lifetime. What a finish that was. Whew. I need to uh I'm still in shock guys. I, I am I am still absolutely I don't even know. I'm just shocked. I'm just shocked that that just went in. That did not, no, that did not just go in. Okay, guys, that's the end of the game. I'm still in shock over that Neymar goal. I just still am in shock over that Neymar goal. Uh, but that's a brilliant win for us. 3-0 at home, I know, but um, two goals for Suarez. Uh, man of the match performance from Messi. And another three points plus another clean sheet. It's happy days. Happy days all round. You don't get much better than that. And we are, look at how clear we are in the lead right now. That lead we have. Look at Real Madrid as well. Struggling a little bit there. Um, you know, they're, they're in competition with Sociedad. So, uh, yeah, that should be an interesting little... Oh, my fucking God. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, fuck. I would love to accept this job. I would love to. Oh, damn it, guys. No, no, no. Oh, I want... I would love to accept this job. But I can't. I've got to... You know, I dedicated this series to the Spanish national team. Oh, my God. Hopefully, Spain, you better be watching this. Rejecting the England job. Fuck. Maybe that was a bad move. I don't know. I did... Like I say, I did want to dedicate this series to the Spanish national team to help rebuild it and, and build something as good as what Germany have but obviously it's not happening guys so without further ado we've got a couple of uh, oh we're in the transfer market now that's all good um this is this is our current youth squad right so this is who's currently in our youth squad uh he is currently available to be snapped up but I'm going to keep him in there for a little while longer. Um, 77 rated. You guys know the score. I'm aiming for a maximum potential of at least 80 plus. So anything that, that below 80 just goes, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, everybody else looks pretty decent. So that's all good with me. Oh, okay. So we've got that, um, a new scouting update. So some more Spanish, uh, talent that could possibly join us. Uh, this guy has got a maximum potential of 80. So yeah, welcome to the squad. Uh, we're going to reject this guy. We'll sign this one up and welcome. And oh, that sounds decent. Mr. Moreno. Um, okay. We've had an offer for Adriano, who, of course, I have transfer listed from Everton. Now, he's valued at 3.3 mil. They've offered me 3 mil. I'm going to accept that, Everton. Um, you can have him. And th this now leaves me to uh, be able to um, get the left back that I wanted. No, I can't remember if I told you guys or not. Uh, Iniesta there just asking for a chance to play. Probably, I probably uh, will let him play anyway. But uh, my first signing, some of you might think I'm being biased here, but he's a player that I think has been massively underrated. He's had a fantastic season at Arsenal, the season just gone. Of course, he's Spanish, so he helps us out in that aspect as well. And that is this beauty here, Nacho Monreal, who, uh, you know, if you don't love him,
him for anything else. It's got to be for that name. But um, yeah, he's honestly, I, I really like Nacho. Um, he's very versatile. He can play centre back as well. He's played there this season, and I think he held his, you know, held his own pretty well there in the centre back position. So yeah, Nacho is a player that I'm excited to bring in, um, especially now we're getting rid of Adriano. Um, so yeah, I think that is better. Com- that is better competition for um, Hordy Elba as well. Anyway, guys, next game of this episode is against Real Sociedad. This is a crucial game. This is a uh, first and second place battling out here. Of course, we've got, um, I think we've currently got, and um, yeah, we've got an eight point gap on them. So uh, it's a chance to add to that gap and, and just close in there. Um, but also, we could unfortunately ruin things for Barcelona because Barcelona, of course, are. Um, currently uh boss i'm on about real madrid what am i even saying yeah we could ruin things for real madrid that, that's what i meant i forgot what i was on about uh because as you can see there real madrid are uh just a point behind so should add yeah sorry for getting a bit confused there it does happen from time to time um i'm gonna go with i'm gonna sort the uh squads anyway now i was just about to do all of this with you guys but yeah i'll sort the squads out and then we'll jump into that game hopefully we get a good win Today it's Real okay guys so here we are the season, against real sushi dad and this is uh this is going to be a huge game so lineups seconds. are on the bottom of the screen um uh, I haven't really changed the squad too much from that last game against um, Cordoba. So, yeah, I just really need to concentrate on this game massively. Come on, Messi. Come on, Messi. Bang that. Get in there. Come on. 1 0 up. That is a crucial goal. Come on, Messi. The main man again. He just does it. Game after game, he just does it. He never, ever lets us down. He, he just never lets us down. Without fail, every game he plays a part. Rakitic, bang. Oh, what a finish. We've only got 10 men on the pitch. What a goal. Get in, Rakitic, mate. Well done. That was a brilliant goal. He hit that with some power. Lovely goal. It has. That was brilliant. What an effort that was. Messi's just come back on, which is all good. He picked up a, a bit of an injury. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Ah, oh, damn, there's nothing I could do about that. It's cheese goal. Right place, right time, simple as. Right, there's the whistle, so we win 2 win. Uh, 2 win. <laughs> 2 win. We win 2 1. Uh, a narrow win, but I don't think that it, it didn't really reflect the game at all. Um, we had a lot of chances there. That keeper pulled out some fantastic saves. We hit the bar, the post, you you name it, we hit it. Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good win anyway. And against Real Sociedad, so that's put us up, um, you know, to an advantage in the league. I'm not able to see the league uh, because we're currently in uh, the cup mode. Anyway, Poland have offered me their um, services um, to be... An, no, wait, did I say that wrong? I don't know. Poland want me to be their manager, basically. Um, and I'm rejecting that, of course, because, like I say, I'm dedicated to one... Um, national team and that is of course Spain now we've had news about Lionel Messi which it says bad news and that is indeed bad news Lionel Messi has suffered a hyper extended knee and will be out for three weeks so that is that's bad news for us um, Messi's been so key recently and like I said before he is just the face of Barcelona Football Club um, Arsenal have got back to us uh, with a, a response to our inquiry about Nacho Monreal they have said that they were concerned 
consider a bid um, of seven million. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say five and a half mil. I reckon that's probably what he's about worth in real life. I'm gonna go up to about six mil, and I reckon I reckon that I'd be able to get him for about six mil. Um, anyway, but I don't mind paying seven. To be fair, it's not it's nothing major and uh, I think he could well turn out to be worth it anyway it's not like say seven mil isn't a great amount anyway so uh, in this next game the last game of episode eight we are against Levante in the Spanish Cup so uh, we're currently in round 16 of that so uh, yes yeah, it's, it's a big game for us really and hopefully we can just continue to um, you know progress in the cup and hopefully end up winning the cup but my you know aspirations as the Barca manager are to uh, you know win every competition possible so yeah right, hopefully we could do that hopefully we can keep generating the interest of national teams now and hopefully we get that offer from Spain soon anyway I'm going to sort the squad out as usual and I'll see you all in that next game okay guys so here we are at the Camp Nou look at it looking absolutely lush down there um, at night time all lit up and let's just jump in Jesus Christ that was the end of the game guys it's uh, finished nil nil look at that just bloody look at that 15 shots 7 of which were on target that is just wow We've had a couple of offers, one for Bartra from uh, QPR, but I'm not really interested in letting him go. One for Thomas Vermaelen from Montpellier. Um, again, I'm not really, yeah, I, I don't really want to sell too many players, so <clears throat> I'm happy with that. Um, okay, so Adriano has gone to Everton, people. Uh, Jordi Alba's come to me and says, Gaffer, I've come to you today to discuss my wages. I work hard in training for the team. So basically, um, Alba wants some more wages. So yeah, we'll we'll get right on to that now. So he wants 110k. We'll give him that um, in an extra year. And his current squad role is a squad rotation player. But he's, he's definitely become an important first team player. Um, so we'll give him that role. There we go, people. Um, Arsenal have accepted our offer for uh, a 5.5 million, actually, offer for Nacho Monreal. So we, I think we're getting quite a bargain there, to be fair. The player demands two years and 80k a week, which is pretty much standard. And again, I think him and Albert are both going to be, you know, playing a big part in the squad. Um, and actually, I suppose with the income of uh, Monreal, I could probably let perhaps Vermaelen go, maybe. So I'll yeah, I'll, I'll uh, remain all ears to to um, the future transfer offers. Oh no! Oh no! Right. So. Monreal says he wants to have a bigger role in the squad than what we're offering, right? So we'll crack on with that. But look at this, boss. So he comes to me and he has the cheek of asking for more money. So, you know, I give him what he demands. He wants to move on at the end of this contract. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. And you know what, guys? We don't stand for that. We don't stand for that kind of negativity in the squad. So, uh, Hordy Alba, well done, mate. You've just earned yourself a free ticket out of the squad. We're adding you to the transfer list, and you're going, mate. You are going. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all fun and games. And with uh, Monreal wanting a bigger, you know, like a bigger squad role, we can give him that now, definitely. I don't think I'll be selling Vermaelen because I'm going to need somebody who can cover at left back. Um, so I, I might let Bartra go. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll um, you know, just continue, carry on and see what kind of offers we do get. Anyway, guys, that is the end of episode eight. This might be quite a long episode, but I figured that, you know, it doesn't matter anyway um, if the video is slightly longer. Um, basically, yeah, we've, we're finishing off there. Um, we'll have a quick look at what's coming up next. We've got, obviously, a game against Levante. 
uh, it's a replay of the Spanish Cup round 16 game so we need to win that definitely need to win that uh, we should be winning it as well to be fair then we're coming up against Deportivo um, away from home back in the league that is then we're against Elsha in the league as well so yeah if you judge like how well we're doing in the league we are doing pretty well we just need to continue that um, and of course try and make a few more signings as well and, and offload some players and yeah just continue doing what we do hopefully that Spanish offer does come up soon because that would just mean you know everything and would just really give me that um, further encouragement to carry on I've got a, I've got um, a replacement in mind for Jordi Alba uh, already of course we are bringing Nacho in but um, I've got another decent left back in mind as well. Uh, but if you've got any any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Or if you think we should get rid of a player and sign somebody else, just let me know on your thoughts in general on what you think we should do. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure you drop a like if you've enjoyed this episode and uh, are enjoying the series so far. And I will continue to upload this um, and I'll be back with the next video very soon.